Hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. I know it's been a minute since I've posted. I've uh, been doing a lot of practicing, studying, uh, training, and it's kind of been very hard to get a schedule with my video uploads. But today we have a little bit of a vlog going on from our second game. We played uh, Belmont Shore, which is, uh, I think they said that they were the top rated uh, amateur rugby team in America. So. It was, a, it was a pretty good game. This game was a lot faster paced than the last one. I will guarantee you that. And some of the players are actually on the MLR. Giltinus, Gil Giltinus, the new LA team. Um, so it was a mixture of those players and um, the LA Giltinus um, MLR team. Now, for those who don't understand what our team is, is we are a, we are, we are not an MLR team at the moment. Um, we are a combination of, you know, some D1 athletes, people who've been in the NFL, people who've been in the NBA. Um, and we're pretty much trying to make a, you know, super athletic rugby team, pretty much. And the thing we've been getting lately from the teams that we have played already, even from, you know, coaches from MLR coaches, from MLR players, is that our, the athleticism uh, that our team holds um, by far beats, you know, a lot of teams, but it's our intelligence of the game that is holding us back because we got hella penalties, hella penalties. And I'll talk about it later, um, about how the game went and uh, just kind of show you. But it's, I, I really don't have anything for this game. You know, like I don't have anything. I didn't do much of anything. I actually like messed up twice and made a, a tackle or two, but I'm still learning at wing. Um, I've been getting more reps in at center right now, um, which I honestly have felt in practice that I felt more comfortable playing center than wing uh, for some reason. Um, but still learning we got a bye week this week we're in a snowstorm right now um but i'm gonna shut up right now let the video start and uh i'll be back you'll see this face in like halfway through the, the video so yeah uh, when I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. You're not driving anymore? Huh? You're not driving anymore? Yeah. They are a good team. Last team we played was the NOLA Reserves team, RFC, NOLA RFC. And uh, some players from the actual NOLA team were playing with them. So we had a combination um, of skill levels. Um, yes, they were pretty lenient, the referees and stuff. We are, once again, a full team that does not, that, that was the majority of everybody played last week. That was our first, very first rugby game majority of all of us we have some players that have played rugby before the majority of all of us never played rugby and uh we're all crossover athletes we are short many of players very we have at least six to seven players out um you know that that we can't sub in and um yeah this is uh this is it's gonna be a possibly a rough day so let's just get it done have a good time and uh, yeah, hopefully I get my first try. Yeah. Going ready. My running nose had a. <laughs> you in your hometown, bro. This ain't my hometown. It's your hometown. Boy, hell no. Nah. My hometown is in the middle of America. <laughs> no. Bro, you 21? 22? Damn, you a baby. Little guy. That's hey, crazy. Some food there if you need some now. That's crazy. So you've been playing for what, 10 years? It's like a kid? More than that. More than that? Yeah. Shit. It's been forever. Well, this is our veteran, younger player. 
Mr. Dev, you a big ass fucking kid. <laughs> this nigga's 22, bro. That's really? crazy. <laughs> he 35. <laughs> Somebody thought he was our coach at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, are you their coach? <laughs> Making that sandwich. Put, put all that mustard on there. That's going to help you not catch a cramp. You know? Big V in the building. You know? We got this bipolar ass nigga. <laughs> Coach over here, about to take us to victory. You know, well, tell them what it is. What that is? Solid soul. Go get that. Solid soul. We got uh, the dude from Rocket Power, not Otto, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie, I think his name is Reggie. No, nah, Otto, I think he was Otto. <laughs> you ain't never watched Rocket Power, bro? How old is you? 24. Yeah, I forgot y'all niggas pretty young. <laughs> I watched Rocket Power before. He old. She's like 26? He's That nigga 35. <laughs> Why you give him 30 like that? I <laughs> look 40. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. We got Susie Carmichael, brother. What you listening to? I got the Larry June. Hey, 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 numbers. Numbers? Numbers. We talking about Pharrell? Quit talking. No, 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 Larry June. Oh, Larry June. I ain't hip like that. No. I think they say, get the shit out my ears. <laughs> Just what's the song? It feels so right. It feels so right. It feels good, so you know. Uh, Day, uh, Day Loaf, is that her name? D Loaf, whatever her name is. J Loaf? Days Loaf. Days Loaf? Bro, I don't know. No, I'm, I'm yeah, he had a touch with the young man. He's too, he's too old. I'm too old. Bro, guess how old this man is. I ain't gonna tell you. No, you I ain't gonna five. tell you. If y'all guess it in the chat, right? I, I don't know, I'll give you $100. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you don't count, you know. Can I guess it right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do a fake ass account, bro. I'm gonna make a fake account. So we on the field today, play Belmont Shore, you know what I'm saying, free game right now, man I'm, I'm ready to get out here, I'm ready to get, I'm ready to let loose, you ready to let loose? I'm ready to let it all loose, hang loose. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy B Aftermath. As you can see, if you're watching my video. If you didn't know, follow me on Instagram at B Aftermath. Um, dot Instagram or Instagram.com slash FB Aftermath. You know, I was going to keep up with a little bit more of what's going on with myself. Um, but just kind of want to talk about today's game or last week's game. Uh, we're off this week. We have like a blizzard. And it's, just, it's just crazy right now. Like outside my window, it's absolutely just snow. Um, but um, my second game. 
was it was very um boring uh, for me um i got attitude it was very boring you know being on the wing there's not much action and you know coach keeps saying go, go where the action is go find action and it's just like you know i've been trying to watch film on other wing players trying to see what they're doing but the ones I've been just been watching, I haven't seen much um, getting around to other positions to get themselves to, you know, score, or get the hand, get the ball in their hands or whatever. And um, I'm still having troubles trying to find my positioning on the wing for me to make plays because, you know, you'll see in this game, you know, I've had one chance maybe where the ball was coming directly to me. And I, I, I mean, I freaked it up. I messed it up. I uh, messed up twice. I dropped the ball twice, um, and knock. I had a two two knock ons for me, and uh, it was just very aggravating because it's like one of those moments where I've been waiting for the ball for like 20, 30 minutes, and then you know I get two opportunities those last ten, and I don't um, excel with those opportunities, and it was very frustrating for me, and because um, I was just like mentally out of it, I was cold, um, just sitting there getting cold, trying to get some type of action in, man, and, and yo, it's just. Once again, it's just game knowledge, being able to understand where I can go without having to waste much energy knowing I have to go back to my position and hold my ground. I think, I think that's where a lot of the um, movement from my side of the thing, from my side of thinking comes from because it's like, well, damn, if I move all the way on the other side, you know, to the left side of the wing or towards there, and then, you know, they start making their way back, and I'm down, let's say I get, I get the ball and I'm tapping and I'm down, and start making their way back, I can't, you know, I probably won't be able to get over there to defend in time. And that's the biggest worry is me understanding, you know, on defensive, um, on the defensive aspect, you know, if I can get back over there to help my team, because uh, I don't want to take my play, myself out position, which, put other players out of position and I don't have the game knowledge to um, pretty much overcome, you know, that situation or, or take over that situation and make it something positive. Uh, I don't have the confidence yet, pretty much. So let's, let's just pretty much say that right now, you know, I don't have the confidence, in-game confidence, um, knowledge to make certain decisions and I just kind of do with, you know, stay over here and deal with whatever is in front of me rather than trying to get over anywhere else um but this game kind of showed me especially watching film um and once again i haven't been playing for a very long time this game right here showed me my lack of aggressiveness and you know mentally i'm thinking that i'm being a little bit more aggressive but i'm lacking the aggressiveness needed to play the game and i watched film and i'm just like looking at myself and i'm just like it's wrong you gotta like run through that shit like you know and i don't know what that what i, I guess i gotta get over this mental I, I, gotta, I have to get over this mental barrier uh once again notepads um i haven't played sports in a very long time um and this is a, you know just a new sport to me in general and you know because to me when i'm in practice it's like you know we're not going 100 percent, but even still we are lacking player count and people are just getting hurt left and right so it's like you know you want to get physical and hit but at the same time you don't want to do it too much to where that player's out or gets injured or you get injured or whatever and now the team's out one to two more people so it's different from practice than in game and i think it'll build as time goes on and um you know i get a little bit more um, more repetitions in game against other people because it's like i mean when you can go against other people you just kind of want to hit the shit out of somebody and uh i need to get back to that uh hitting the bags more um just being aggressive again uh I need to build some some callus over my body, you know, saying get get rough. I need to get rough again. I need so I'm I'm liking the fact that I'm I'm being roughed up, you know, from practice and in game and whatever else because I feel like I need to build that shell again on my body. Just doing all these weights and stuff, it's a different feeling of being hit. And I like to be hit. I like to you hit. I like the adrenaline that it you know gives me. I just like the adrenaline of just being just 
active and aggressive and just hitting and no matter if it was a hard hit or whatever, just fall into the ground. I like those feelings. And um, it's it's because it's just a rough game. I just like a rough game like that. And I need to build that back. You know, I need to build my explosives back to that point to where it was just second nature. I feel like it's just kind of I've kind of lost that a little bit. And um, once again, I just need time to develop that again um, with more repetition in game going 100 percent. I need more 100 uh, percent type of scenarios. And um, I mean, practice, we don't really scrimmage against each other, especially 100 percent because we don't have enough people. And I feel like that would definitely help more. Um, but right now, I just kind of do what, what I can and um, and just try to excel as much as possible. Uh, now, next week, I think we play Belmont Shore again. I'm not sure, but they said it's pretty much like this. Like every team we play, this is how they put this is how they put it. Every team that we play the week after is probably going to be a team better than the week we played before. It's like we're like they're like slowly progressing us with certain levels of rugby you know and um yeah we even play like clemson university whether they're a college rugby team i believe Ugh, excuse me and um some other teams i think we play uh, i believe we play clemson but um the bird is pretty much excelling you know week by week by week and then uh i think we play overseas in ireland supposedly um at the end of the year so after we get summer off and then we play overseas and um it's back to the ground again where everybody keeps saying overseas is where the real rugby action is. And, you know, that's that's what I, I've been getting a lot of um, New Zealand, Australian players um, try to get me out there, you know, just help me develop and learn because the other other nations, they want us to be good at rugby. They want America to finally be a force, you know, that is people are worried about in rugby and um, people want to help us develop and i think that's pretty cool you know what i'm saying because a lot of people wouldn't want that a lot of people a lot of people would not want a team that they think could really be a trouble for them to be good you know they would pro probably try to keep them down you know and um for these other nations to reach out and be like yo come out here we'll teach you this that you know come practice with us but i think that's really cool and i think that'd be something cool to add into um this whole a rugby series that I've been having on YouTube for you guys just going going overseas playing with you know New Zealand Australia France Japan I think that would be awesome to do um, I think my girlfriend would like that too because we get to travel you know and uh, even though I'll be playing like rugby and stuff but even still um, so I just kind of want to take this time to just talk to you about you know my mentality what's going on the game that we played and uh, I mean you know it, it is what it is you know I, I'm still out here training as much as I can. Um, got some other news for you guys. I'll save for another video uh, just because that video alone would, you know, you know how the YouTube game works. But um, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Catch me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash TV, Instagram at um, fbaftermath. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Hopefully I won't take as long um, to upload videos. I'm trying to do at least uh, every three or four days. Um, so bear with me. And uh, it'll be a lot easier once I get into my new home. Um, you know, where I have like my setup and all situated, I'll be a little bit more comfortable. I don't like having my computer and stuff in the same room my bedroom is. I just, I don't like that. Um, but anyways, catch you guys later. Peace out. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.